above you. What meaning can be found in love when the all-loving says he loves you? He asked if I would tell you all with wonder in his eyes, the one who cries when none can hear, and wonders why that God's not near. But however far you wonder, dear, God's love has travelled farther. He will find you where you're lost, because he is your father. Well, that's impressive, isn't it? Give the man a medal. But me, giving birth to eight billion babies, that's nice love, go put on the kettle. <laughs> the one beneath our cloud, he's proud to say, is packed with women dying to meet him. He wrote an entire book about it, in fact. He said one day we'd holiday in his chariot of solid gold, a billion unicorn power, and much faster than Joseph, so I'm told. But on the date outside the gate, God's this and my first badly parked. I don't care what it says on Facebook Marketplace, you should never believe a man about a car. <laughs> he, has some, he has some strange ideas when it comes to contraception. He always comes up with an immaculate conception, eh? He flies me up the walls because he won't return my calls. He's always on some holy mission. I've even tried praying, but the phone bills aren't worth paying because he never seems to listen. I'm tired of it, so I decide it's best he'd go. And so, without letting on that I'm trying to get him gone, I suggest he try retiring. Because I'm sure not curing all those cancer patients must get pretty tiring. But instead we see our new GP at Heaven's local pharmacy, where the physician sees the efficiency. Vitamin C is what he needs. It wasn't easy. Because it took sweet stabs into an orange with a candle, which I'm sure is safe for a child to handle, carries as if to be married to another Chris Dingle down the aisle of the church on the night of Chris Pringle to get God to eat it. Meanwhile, the poor staff, the hospitals need more staff. And if I had a dime for every time he said I'd get equal pay one day, I still wouldn't. Thank you. <laughs>